Yo, yo, what is up guys? Welcome to my first ever GT3 esports race, or I should say DTM esports. Uh, this is the first time ever I am doing a high level esports race in a GT3 car. And yeah, I qualified for this through a time trial on race room experience. And yeah, I, I did like two hours of time trial, got into the top 64, I think I had to be. Uh, to qualify for this. This is basically the qualifier, qualifying race for uh, the DTM esports season. We have to finish the first race in the top six or the second race in the top four in order to make it to the full season. Um, yeah, considering it was my first time racing a GT3 esports race, I just didn't practice too much for it. I didn't think I was gonna get anywhere close. Um, I started practicing like two hours before this um, just so I could get somewhat up to the pace um, and yeah I also just want to try out race room a bit more properly uh, I have done some races on this in the past but yeah I just wanted to kind of uh, dip my toes into the water uh, to see how it would go so um, as you can see we are in qualifying now our first lap in qualifying uh, I currently have a PB of a 36.05 in practice now there were people in practice doing like 35-4 so at the moment we're like half a second to six tenths off uh, which is kind of to be expected uh, in a race like this against pro drivers on the race room or uh, to drivers that are used to racing in GT3 cars um, I think the top guys are like Enzo Bonito, Kevin Siggy, uh, Nikodem Wisniewski they're all guys that tend to do a lot of races in GT3 um, where it's on uh, ESL R1, high racing. Well, that's almost see, a PB for me on P9. Uh, we go only 300 of our PB. Um, and yeah, we actually improved uh, even more. I went to a PB, but it's only enough for P11 at the moment, unfortunately. P1 is like a 35.7 at the moment. Uh, and improving, of course, it's a 10 minute qualifying, and you can just keep on driving unlimited. So, um, into the last five and a half minutes, I think this is going to be our fastest lap. So, into turn one. Um, it is the old sand foot as you can see, so a little bit less banking. Second gear, a bit of a poor exit. Um, still struggling a little bit with track control. I'm not sure, or I wasn't sure what the exact perfect setting was for traction control. Um, it's a bit weird driving with traction control. And there's no ABS if I remember correctly. Um, so um, yeah, you have to nail the brake bias in a car like this. Or I think there might actually be ABS, but I turn it off. Because, yeah, it's just a bit weird. I'm used to driving on F1 without ABS or TC. It is faster, of course, to use it if you set it up well. As we are two tenths down in the first sector to Enzo Bonito, uh, driver for Team Redline in, yeah, basically anything. Uh, I raced against him in v He did F1 Esports in the past as well, but he's moved away from that. But he's very fast on iRacing as well on a set of Corsa. Um, basically on anything um, into the final sector we go we are 3.4 tenths down and you can see on our steering wheel dash that we are improving actually wrong. can't see at a moment um, but yeah the chicane was not great so we're back down to 0, 0.0 into the final corner and you can see with 300 down short shifting to fourth this is flat out just about flat out you have to nail the line in order to get this flat out Slight improvement maybe and yeah, this is gonna be a slight improvement. Ah, Four thousands only. Four thousands improvement actually. And yeah, we qualified in P15 with that. So we're gonna have to gain 11 positions around Zandvoort in a GT3 car to qualify ourselves for the season. Sorry, I should say nine positions. It's actually uh, top four for the second race after this. Um, but if we do make it into the top six, then we don't have to do the second race. So off the line we go. Guy ahead of us got a great start actually. It's a little bit argy bargy into turn one. Uh, GT3 racing is always a little bit argy bargy. Um, so yeah, you're gonna be lap. seeing a little bit more contact than say that. we get on F1. Uh, even though the F1 games are quite lenient as well with contact. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a shunt up ahead, and I'm trying to squeeze my way through a little bit of contact to the wall, but straight up to P10 from P15 That's on the grid. So. Uh, that was a near perfect start, uh, no damage done to our car, uh, maybe a bit of paint gone as we try to 
get past our fellow Dutchman uh, Witfoot. Um, but yeah, even in, in, in the GT3 car, you're struggling a little bit dirty edge for the faster corners. Um, so yeah, uh, amazing start, perfect start to the race. And let's see if we can gain another four positions, which is not going to be easy, of course, because we only qualified in P15 and we are nearing the top eight. So yeah, um, it's going to be hard to, uh, to get past, but you know, one can hope maybe there's some incidents. Maybe we can gain like one or two spots. Uh, we just have to keep pushing non-stop in order to have a chance for the top six. And yeah, some DNFs as well uh, ahead of us. So let's hope if we got um, equal pace to the cars ahead, if not slightly better. And then we can maybe get past, although uh, Luciano ahead of us has really good pace. You can see I'm struggling oh, a little bit in dirty air. Uh, Sierra Tolman in P1, um, also quite a known sim racer in like R Factor race room. Um, I think I raced against him in Formula E in R Factor 2. Um, but I think his main thing is still a GT3 car, so uh, he is rapid as well. And yeah, the guys in P1, 2, 3 are not really going to be fighting that hard here. Um, simply due to the fact they only have to be top six as I'm trying to find my way through a little bit of oversteer through the final corner um, I was making a lot of mistakes to be honest as Enzo Benito sets the fast lap 35.9 that's faster than my qualifying lap we only do a 36.5 so that half a second gap is still more or less the same we're still half a second of the pace but that doesn't mean we're gonna give up um, P8 is on the cards for this race and then we just need to hope for an incident up front so uh, we have been really close behind the car of uh, Luciano Bitfoot ahead of us. You can see we're almost on his bumper there. And he's been really close to the pink car ahead. As you can see, a little bit of a moment on the exit for the white car ahead of us. And with the help of Slipstream, we're going to have a little look into the fast right-hander. But that's not a great overtaking opportunity. So we're going to try and find a way around the outside, perhaps. Get a better exit. But, yeah. It's uh, not an easy track to overtake. Um, I kept getting really close into the fast section, but you can't really do anything in the fast section. So uh, you can't really try and outbreak someone because, yeah, by the time you've outbreak them, the corner is already there. You're gonna end up in an incident. So yeah, we're just stuck behind at the moment, and we're just trying to pressurize uh, the car ahead into a mistake. Um, that's all we can try and do at the moment. And pink car seems to be slower than both me and Luciano uh, ahead so yeah I was kind of hoping that he was gonna be able to get past but it's just so hard to get past on this track especially in a GT3 car no DRS of course uh, the slipstream effect is quite strong but yeah by the time you're up to speed you're almost at the end of the straight uh, because it is so short we're into the final lap now and you can see we're right behind the car ahead again um, but it looks like we're not gonna find our way past at the moment um, and not find a way into the top six for sure unless a miracle happens uh, but it doesn't look like it we have to gain four positions to make it into the full DTM eSports season um, and yeah we uh, we're still a little bit of the pace half second of the pace and let's see if maybe next qualifying we can you know gain an extra two tenths because the top six from this race um, goes away and then it's the top four uh, there's two races actually and we're in the first one the race after this we're not gonna be in that one but then there's again going six people through and then um, it's the rest versus uh, or how should I say this it's the top four of the rest going through basically so top six from this one top six from the next one we're not gonna be in the next race uh, that's a completely different pool of people and yeah then I think the top uh, 21 so p6 to 21 and from the next race p6 to 21 goes into race 3 and that's the top four that goes into the DTM uh, full season if I, I hope I kind of explain it well I feel like I explain it terribly but uh, I hope you guys understand it but uh, only top 10 or p10 I should say unfortunately um, however as we go into uh, the next qualifying session, you can see we're actually uh, P4. 
Uh, let's see if we can hold on to that. Uh, after the first lap, P4. It's a great banker, but... Yeah. Uh, we've been quite easily doing the 36-0. We just have not been able to really go a lot faster than that. Uh, you can see Chana Kinsey um, in P1. He is from the F1 side kind of things as well. You might have seen him in a couple of league races over the past few years. He's really fast in F1. Uh, just about didn't make it to a full-time F1 eSports seat. Um, but yeah, still incredibly fast. And he really practiced hard for this race. Didn't not make it into the top six as well. Um, but yeah, he told me he practiced like 50, 60 hours for this race. So uh, it's well deserved that he's currently on pole position. Um, because he practiced really hard for this one. Whereas we kind of just, yeah, uh, went into the deep end without a lot of practice. Um, because I kind of didn't expect to be within half a second of the top guys. So... Uh, I, I regret a little bit not practicing more for this, but at the same time, I'm also trying to win WR on F1 and uh, PSGL on F1, so that is where my, yeah, priorities were more uh, relative to DTM Esports. But at least I know for the future now that in case I do practice hard for this, then I can be close to the top guys. Um, so yeah, that's... At least gives me some confidence that on position maybe on race room oh. in a gt3 car we can um yeah basically compete with the top guys but we went p4 again did a pb 35.9 but by the end of the session we dropped all the way down to p9 unfortunately so we're gonna have to gain five positions here if we want to make it to the full season of the dtm esports uh series and it's gonna be lights out and away we go you can see even though we are not quite up to the pace, our starts are great and we straight away shoot up to P7 around the outside, or actually P8 I should say, but unfortunately... That's we, got into a, we got into a crash. Um, What's yeah. happening to my son? And yeah, now we're all the way down I to... I don't see that car coming on the inside at all. Uh, P27. There was a car on the inside that spun around due to a separate incident with which, which had nothing... To do oh, with me turning. and yeah that car just collected me we we're just at the wrong place at the wrong time not much we could do about that it's a shame. Uh, the good car start. was like actually chana kinsey uh that spun into the infield and yeah we just got collected unfortunately as we move up to p26 but we're just going to continue driving um you never know what happens it's of course extremely unlikely we're still going to get top four but um, I've seen some weird things in racing, and yeah, it, it, sometimes it can happen. Oh, they might try that. So yeah, we're just going to continue. It's only a 20 minute race anyway. Turns really and well into the left corner, so... Maybe we can uh, learn something, but you can see my steering wheel just like that. is pointing like... Why is my sound getting cooked? 20 degrees to the right. Um, as I was letting a little bit down the inside of that yellow car, which turns to the inside for this one, a little bit... Argy bargy um, as the car on the inside slightly turning but up to P23 we go already good gains uh, we were in P27 now P23 uh, the issue is that we do have a lot of damage as you can imagine from that turn one and yeah you can see how the steering wheel is it's pointing like 20 degrees to the right so not sure how much performance loss we have but we're just gonna keep cooking into turn one we go we're breaking much later and we're gonna send it down the inside a little bit argy bargy, but up to P22 we go. We do have the car on the outside though. We're gonna leave him space, and the next corner is gonna turn to the inside for him. So again, leaving him space on the exit and on the inside, and yeah, he slow, just gets a slightly better exit unfortunately. Um, but this is a great little battle we have right here. Uh, unfortunately, he has the inside for Max One, and yeah, just because he run that slightly less distance, he gets. Uh, the position so down to p23 we go again um, great little battle and yeah only 18 positions to go and oh my god actually, so uh, we have moved to p22 as i think someone might have disconnected uh, on to slightly later in the race still behind uh, our arela beautiful name actually uh, we're still trying to find our way through it takes a bit of a tight line to there Oh, and he actually clipped the curb a little bit on the inside, so I did a little bit of a moment 
uh, our front is not a dusted anyway, so a little bit extra damage doesn't matter. But we get a good run through the next left-hander. And we can get slip screen into the next chicane. He goes a little bit defensive, but we're going to break late down the inside. He leaves us the space. We leave him the space on the outside. We go around the outside in the next left-hander, but unfortunately, we just have to slot in behind again. And now maybe we can do something on the main straight. He does not have a lot of slip screen. He's quite far behind the next car. And yeah, now we need to get a good run, though. You can see the understeer we have with this damaged car and dirty air. But, with the help of Slipstream, we can maybe do something into turn 1. Maybe another cheeky little send. You can see regaining into turn 1. 250 kph. We're going to break really late again. And into P21 we go for sure now. And with 13 minutes to go, we have to catch up uh, 1.2 seconds to the car ahead. So, um, the car after that is another 8 tenths ahead of P20. So, yeah, we... Uh, we got some work to do, but as you can see, five minutes later, we're right up to the back of the yellow Mercedes. As there's a yellow flag ahead of us, not sure why that is. Might actually have been behind us. Might have been a car briefly gone off track. As now, we go for a move down the inside. However, uh, Sen covered it off nicely. Uh, we need to find another way past. Again, we get a good exit. And we're gonna try and find a way through on the inside. He's defending the inside. But we're going to break as late as we can into the chicane. We've slightly overshot it. As you can see, we get a big moment of oversteer. But we got ahead and up to P20 we go. Beautiful overtake, if I say myself. Um, 16 positions more to go to make it to the DTM Esports Final. Um, four minutes later, we are right behind uh, T. Relmondi. Do I say that correctly? Uh, he's in the BMW. I saw a lot of people drive with the Mercedes in a time trial, but uh, the fastest guys were using an Audi in in these races. Um, yeah, they have just been testing this a lot as we go down the inside of the car and up to P19. We go. We're gonna leave him the space on the exit and hope he doesn't come back at us in the next chicane. Um, but yeah, a lot of people driving with the Audi. Uh, apparently there was BOP and that made the Audi slightly faster as I've got a car on the inside there uh, I went slightly off track actually I'm not sure if I had a car on the inside maybe I just outbroke myself I can't really see it where, where did this guy well. go? is he on my um, inside? Uh, and here but yeah the car that was uh, behind us spun around so that's why there was a yellow flag for a brief moment there um, I don't think we touched in she came um, I think he just spun on himself I'm not sure but um, on to the final lap we go then you can see we've caught up to the group ahead, but... Honto? Yeah, uh, a little bit of an incident ahead, up to P18 we go, decided to straight away take advantage to the BMW ahead, who goes defensive, and that is going to give us a nice Back. exit, but a little bit too much oversteer, and just quite couldn't make our way past, so might have to stick for P18 there, uh, had a little look down the inside, and again, couldn't quite find our way through. Um, so let's see if we can maybe get one more position here. We're not going to qualify for the full DTM eSports season. But uh, at least I know that we've got the pace, if I practice properly for it, uh, to probably make it. Um, and yeah, I kind of surprised myself. Because usually um, jumping from uh, one pl platform to the other or just jumping to a new platform Unlucky. Uh, can be really Fun a struggle. Rest. Um, I've done esports on a set of course now, for example, Vita and R League, which we managed to win. I did really well in R Factor 2 with Formula E. But still, that required a lot of practice. And I expected the same for Race Room, but we just got up to pace quite easily. Still half a second off, of course. But as you, everyone with sim races that is watching this knows, yeah, if you practice uh, 60 hours on a track with a car, you're going to easily improve. Um, a few tens relative to just practicing for two hours. As we're just re-watching what happened at the start here, you can see uh, Chana Kinsey is the car um, that is kind of hiding behind P5 or 6, I think so. Um, but yeah, you can see him spinning into the infield in a moment. And yeah, we were just unlucky. We were the only car that got collected, I think. So you can see uh, my mouse hovering over the car that spun. Um, and yeah, 
we just got collected on the inside, unfortunately. You can see we're the pink Mercedes um, right on the outside there. And yeah, <laughs> we got collected, unfortunately. Even the car on the inside there didn't uh, get collected. We're just very unfortunate there. But, but that's how it is. Um, can't always uh, be on the good side. We had a good side in the first race. Got a little bit lucky there. Cho chose the right uh, line. And now we did not. So, um, yeah. Uh, might be doing more race room competitions, to be honest. Because we've got the pace, I feel like. Uh, I'm going to practice a lot for that. If, uh, if I've got the time. Um, and if I like the championship that's going to be run. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Ciao.